up, happy people? It's a good day. I just got done editing a show, uploaded it, and Brito calls me like five minutes later. Yo, you want to go diving? I'm like, yep. So uh, we're going out. It's uh, 5.35. We've got about two hours to make it happen, but we're not sure what we're going to make happen. What I am sure of is we got four tanks, a spear gun, a pole spear, and a bunch of numbers. So we're just going to go on a mission looking. It is Easter week. And I know a lot of y'all are going to be using your boats and wanting to go do fun stuff this spring and this summer. I'm urging you, get your motor checked out. I just took my motor down. I got the full one-year service. They went through all the zincs, all the water pumps, uh, changed all the oil in the lower unit and, and the power head. Get it checked out now, because in a month or so, everyone's going to be so busy you can't get it done. Where are you from, D? I'm from the Bahamas. I'm from Marshall Arabico. And if you're in this area, check out Outboard Specialties. Mike, I love you, brother. That dude is awesome. Every time I call him with a question, he's Johnny on the spot. So, hey, you didn't ask this, but Mike just did my boat literally did he? a month ago. Shoot, we're blowing. which means you need to go down, get the job done, come back up here so I can go down and do it myself. Dude. This right here is a Koa roller gun. It's the baddest gun ever made by man's hands. Uh, it's got a Hawaiian flopper, a single Hawaiian flopper. If you're a spear fisherman, you do not want this flopper to come all the way up to a 90 degree. You want it to have some angle on it. When it has angle, it'll grab the fish. If it comes up to 90, they can actually pivot off of it. We close? Yeah. Go in the water right there. It's Look right here. That's what I, that's one big fish right there. That's all bait fish. Up here, that's probably going to be either a grouper or a big cabara snapper falling down. That's the rock coming down. Snickers bar, throw it in your cooler full of ice, and it comes 10 times better. Oh, there's Aubrey. What oh. you got, boy? They were there. I could have stoned a 20 pound gag. Ah! Oh. Funny thing is, I don't think that was the biggest grouper I saw. No way. Hey, Aubrey Tomas Grande bringing home some tacos. There you go.
Man, what a great day out here in Jupiter, Florida, afternoon. Go in, well, some of us work in office, some don't. Go in, knock the job out, get out here on the water and live in the dream. I swam as hard as I could swim, but sometimes you just miss it. But in life, you don't always win. You just hope to win more than you lose. Hey look, sometimes people wonder how we get so many numbers. We get so many numbers by jumping in and taking off. When we're diving, if I see him yanking on the ball, that means go mark that, that's a good spot. And if it's a spot everybody knows, it's not gonna be that good of a spot. So we spend a lot of time out here diving, looking, checking, scouting, bird dogging, bird dogging. Just made it back to the house. Got those two sheep's head, which is perfect. You know what I mean? I, I honestly wanted a Kobe or something exotic and crazy, but I found what I was looking for. Hey, we got dinner. That's all that matters. I'm about to tell you. The literally the second we got here, Aubrey ran in, put some seasoning and olive oil in here, which is pretty cool. So when he fillets these fish, you want me to play them or you want to play them? I know how to clean the fish. But he said as soon as he fillets them, he wants to throw them right into the into the uh, marinade. Now y'all better watch out. Whenever Aubrey gets hungry, he gets the shake. So keep all hands and toes clear, because that silver stag will cut you. I ain't cut anyone in a long time. Look at that. My brother Aubrey and his partner Rick started an app called Fish Rules. And Fish Rules, basically wherever you are, or you can set your location manually, it'll tell you all the applicable fish rules for the fish. And um, I use it literally, and this is, he is not a paid endorsee of Deer Meat Within, I'm just about to tell y'all. But I do use Fish Rules constantly because having the brand that I have doing what I do, I cannot get in trouble for doing something illegal. When you're out there, you catch a fish, you can instantly check whether or not it's legal. It'll tell you all the applicable stuff. So check it out on the app store. It's called Fish Rules. A lot of people, when they're trying to grill fish, they don't think about if you have a nice flaky piece of fish like this, if you throw it on the grill without putting some kind of oil on it, it's gonna stick, it's gonna struggle. So I'm just cutting a nice serving size pieces, cutting a little bit of the bloodline out. So here it is, like Robert says, a little love potion in there, mix it all up, get it all up in there. Not real heavy on the seasoning, just gonna get it mixed around real good. You see that right there? Falling in love. <laughs> Let's that do it. is a love potion number nine. And just gonna lay these pieces right in there. I want y'all to know, we, have not been off the boat more than like four minutes. We got here, started cleaning fish. In the meantime, he fired up the grill. I mean, this is as fresh as it gets. Robert, I'm gonna leave you in charge of this. You know how to cook fish on the grill. I'm gonna run in and mix up the secret uh, potions to go with this. I'll be on the minute. Yes, sir, doctor. Did y'all know he has a PhD? He got his uh, PhD at Texas A&M University. Giga Maggies! That takes maybe two minutes per side. Nice hot grill, sear it, lock in all the flavor, be ready for the next step. And to God's honest truth, I ain't got a clue what he's doing inside. Yeah, you know what time it is. Look at that. 
I wish you could smell it. it smells like heaven on earth. You see how it, the fish is easily coming off the grill? That was all by design when he marinated it with the seasoning and the oil. All right, Mr. Arrington. I hope I did a good enough job. Oh, look what he's got here. All right, so let me tell you, this isn't what it looks like. These are not sandwiches. These are white bread tacos. They're different. So I don't know if you remember growing up, we couldn't always afford and couldn't always have fancy hot dog buns. <laughs> You'd stick a hot dog on a piece of white bread and be like, whammy! <laughs> Put it on your diagonal, make it work best you can. Anyways, so I made a, a sambal aioli. So it's got sambal, it's a chili base with garlic powder. Got a little bit of um, red onion on there, a little bit of random lettuce leaves. Don't jam this all together as a sandwich. Eat it as a white bread taco, trust me. I'm it's down. just, it's better. Pro, two sheep's head turned out to be exactly to the T of what we needed. God says he won't, he ain't always going to give you what you want, but he'll give you what you need. Lord, thank you for this day and thank you for this food. Thank you for a great day out on the water, spending time with my, with my buddy and my brother. Please nurse this food to our body. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. amen. All right, we're eating white bread tacos straight off the grill. I want to know more about that sauce. Mm, it's good. That's killer. Dude, oh. what'd you put in the sauce? Oh my gosh, that sauce just kicked in. Dude, I want to... That's so good. It's got a, it's got a, it's got a kick to it. It's good, bro. Yeah, it's spicy too, man. I'm telling y'all right now, Aubrey has got some Spanish mm. blood in him. I'm just gonna tell you. That's why they call me Brito. Bro. All right, mm. let me get back on that camera. Now you gotta try it. So that's it. We came. I mean, literally, this whole video started at like five, no, fifteen. It started when I called you at yeah. 2 o'clock. Okay, so it started at 2 o'clock when he called me while editing. I got done with the Otter Show, ran over, grabbed the boat, came here, and uh, we had a great day. Just another day in the center. long bank of epic memories we've got together. But y'all, I'm going home to go to bed. We go.